Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Today I want to walk you through this fantastic privacy-focused service that's built on top of Ethereum, and that is Tornado.cash. So this is a mixer that's also using ZK Snarks technology to allow users to achieve a level of privacy that otherwise wouldn't be possible on the public Ethereum blockchain. So I want to talk about on-chain versus off-chain privacy uh, and how they get the most out of these kind of services because a lot of people think of privacy as this yes or no thing, and if they're using a privacy coin online, they just assume that it's private. So by now you're probably familiar with blockchains and explorers where we can paste an address, see how much ETH is in there, if there's other ERC20 tokens. And when we look at all the transactions, we can see what address it came from and went to. It's all the public ledger. Now, if we head over to the Tornado Mixer website down the bottom here, you can click on uh, that contract address. And what we can see is a lot of users depositing ETH into the mixer. And then if we look at the internal transactions, we can see that users are withdrawing, but it's coming out of the mixer co uh, contract. So we don't know whose ETH is going where. Now this is where it gets into the conversation about other things that you are doing online. So what browser you use, for example, you know, Google Chrome, we know that they track all our data, our cookies, your IP address, what websites you visit. So they might be able to match, you know, the time that you came back to withdraw your ETH. So it's important to be mindful of little things like that. Look, I strongly recommend using something like Tor. Uh, they scramble your IP address that has MetaMask inbuilt these days. Uh, you can use a VPN. Make sure you generate a new IP address before you withdraw so you don't have the same IP address for the same or for your new Ethereum address that you create. All those little habits really allow for you to achieve better privacy online. Now, if you want more information about how this works, uh, they've got a great article on Medium and the About section on the website. Uh, but final thing here before we interact uh, with the smart contract here is choosing our Ethereum uh, address. So at the moment, I've got MetaMask. If you're a more advanced user and you want to achieve that really high level of privacy, make sure you connect to your own full node. Again, that way you're just not relying on a third-party service that is maybe tracking everything online. It depends how you know paranoid you want to be. The average user might not have to worry about all this stuff, uh, but just good things to be aware of. So at the moment, they're only allowing 0.1 ETH. They're going to increase that in future. Looks like they want to add DAI as well and maybe other ERC20 tokens. As long as there's users that are depositing and, and mixing that up, then it allows for that um, anonymity set there. So let's just click on deposit and it's going to ask me to make sure I've clicked to copy this note. You can think of this similar to a private key. This is your um, permission, the you know authority slip for you to get your Ethereum back. So make sure you say that you have backed that up and send in the deposit. Now it's gonna ask me to sign this transaction. Let's click on confirm. And the Ethereum blockchain is now uh, processing this transaction to the Tornado Cash smart contract. Now this shouldn't take too long to confirm and then the next step is to paste that note in the withdraw section here. And that's also gonna ask us how we wanna pay the gas, which is really important for that second step that we wanna do. Because if we pay the gas from our initial Ethereum address, they can link that. They know, you know who's paid the gas, just another way to break the chain of traceability online. So what we can do instead is pay the gas from our initial address here. That's confirmed, so let's click on withdraw and paste our note. And rather than us paying with it from our wallet, we wanna pay initially to the relayer, to the smart contract and let them pay the gas for the second transaction. So there's no way to tie them together. Now that's popped up a little warning and said it's only been a minute since uh, you deposited. So it's encouraging you to wait an hour or a day before you come back and withdraw. It's at this stage that you wanna generate you know, a new IP address. You wanna get your new Ethereum address, your new Ethereum wallet all set up. Look for the purpose of the transaction today. I'll just copy this address to send the ETH back to that um, before the tutorial. So let's paste that there, the uh, withdrawal address and click on withdraw. Now that's generating that uh, zero knowledge proof on the back end. Uh, this does take a little bit more time than a normal transaction. So let's click on confirm. And now it's sending that to the relayer to pay the gas and then back to our Ethereum address, the new one that we've created um, to break the trail there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that tutorial. Smash the like, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video around and we'll talk again soon. Cheers.